Hi folks, Nox from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get hoy on Android every day. Anyway, today I just want to show you, um, while I was at it, uh, I was going to use, I got kind of lazy. I usually use the manual method, but today I'm going to show you how to use ROM Manager uh, to install custom ROMs and also make a backup ROM. Um, go ahead and install ROM Manager from the Play Store. And I actually do recommend installing Clockroom Recovery beforehand. If you're using Tor Recovery, you'll want to use uh, Goo Manager, which kind of does the same thing. I'll, maybe I'll have a video on it the next time I use that. Um, as you can see, I already have a recovery install for the Galaxy S3. Now, if you have a rooted phone without recovery, you can also use ROM Manager. Just go to uh, Recovery Setup here and go ahead and click on Clockroom Recovery and click on your model, and it will install Clockroom Recovery. But obviously you don't have to do it if you already have a Clockmart recovery. Also, you don't really have to update your Clockmart recovery. The new updates don't really do anything. So long as you have like version 6.0.4.3 or higher, you're all good to go for all the latest ROMs. Uh, so let's go ahead and install a ROM from SD card. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And I'm going to go ahead and install one of these ROMs that uh, I'm going to use, install the S5 Sensation ROM. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to back up my existing uh, stock ROM because, you know, I want to be able to restore my ROM and also wipe data cache. You can say yes. It doesn't really matter. It's just temporary files. Um, also, oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Make sure you wipe data and cache. That's actually factory reset. Uh, whenever you install your ROMs, you'll probably want to do it. And uh, this will basically back up my ROM, stock ROM, and also install the new ROM. Uh, fresh install for me. So let's go ahead and try it. Reboot and install. Hit OK. And you may, a uh, super user request might pop up. Make sure you hit Grant or OK. And hopefully it will work out of the box. It should, but sometimes uh, this method breaks and you have to do it manually anyways. But hopefully this time it will do it automatically. Yes, it worked. Um, sometimes it breaks and you have to go in and do it manually. Uh, but this way you can let it do it and you can go have some coffee, uh, have a smoke or something, um, you know, all that good stuff. So I will be back. I'll actually just fast forward this. All right, as you can see, backup is done. It's formatting data, now installing ROM. Um, some ROMs have a ROMA graphical installer like this one, so it's actually not fully automatically automatic so I'm gonna just go ahead and go through here and choose my options and install the ROM and also the remote installer actually can do uh, full wipe data part, uh, partition so I'm doing it again here it doesn't really matter if you do it again uh, some options here for the apps all right let me go ahead and install it I'm gonna actually try the S5 camera here and let me go ahead and just install this I've actually installed this ROM before. Um, all right, there we go. Some more options. All right, so it's gonna install the ROM and rest of this should be automatic. Uh, if it does not have a ROM installer, then it will install it, everything for you. And also if you're installing AOSP ROMs, um, you'll have additional files. I believe the ROM manager actually, uh, you have to get the pro version to install multiple files. Uh, there's actually also another app called CWM Recovery that's also free that you can use. Uh, I should have a video on that too. But this is great for those who you know installing just one ROM, one file. Um, just you know set it and forget it. I'll be back when this is done. All right, it's almost done, and when it reboots, I should have a backed up ROM and installed a new ROM. That makes it easy. Now sometimes, you know, you do end up in a boot loop, then you do have to go into Clockmail Recovery manually. And uh, what I usually recommend, what I usually recommend to do is actually uh, go back into manually format system partition. That's different from regular uh, factory reset. That will actually format the system partition, which gets corrupted and which causes boot loops. Uh, but now you can see that I've installed a new ROM, backed up a new ROM, installed a new ROM. I'm sort of automating the process. The reason why I don't show you how to do this in my uh, my tutorials is because you know sometimes it breaks, and if it breaks, then it causes more headaches. And also, it's good to know how to do it manually. 
then you know you have a backup method if this thing breaks then you know you know how to deal with it but if you don't then you're gonna have to relearn it it just makes everything complicated that is why my tutorials have it but you can go ahead and use ROM manager to automate your processes and you know install uh, you know 20 ROMs at the same time on 20 different phones if you want to and uh, let me give it a second here let's see if we can get it to boot and we should be done and that's how you can install ROM, uh, a new custom ROM using ROM manager for those of you who didn't know, now you can you know use ROM Manager. Now this is only for Clockmart Recovery. If you're using Torp, you have to use Goo Manager app, also available on the Play Store. Uh, similar to this, that uh, I should have a video on that. There we go. It's booting up now, and we should get a welcome screen, and it's installing applications. Oh great! I'll be back. And boom shakalaka! There we go. Uh, this ROM is actually cool. I've actually installed it before. It's a, actually turned. It's an S5 ported ROM that turns your S3 into an S5. Uh, literally, you get every feature of the S5, including download booster. It's amazing ROM. Um, I'll, I'll have a, a video overview of this, uh, but I'll, I'll give you a quick look at it. It's really cool. Uh, it's amazing what these custom ROMs can do. You know, you can pretty much get all the features of S5 on your S3 already today. Uh, download booster, and also it has ultra power saving mode, which is awesome. You know, on the S3, this means you can make your phone last 7.2 days on 58% battery. Uh, anyway, it's gonna getting, <laughs> kind of getting long. That was how to install a uh, new custom ROM, back up and install new custom ROM, automate the process using ROM manager and uh, yeah I'll see you guys soon I hope this video helps you and as always don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and as always stay hoy on Android